Hello again, everybody. Welcome back to Fujit Splits. Hello, it's me, Fujit. So, I decided to do a bit of a different video. Moving away from kind of blitz stuff and all that sort of thing, I want to tell you about what it's like to be a YouTuber. <gasps> oh, the life of a YouTuber. You know what? It isn't all that it's cracked up to be. No way! And in this video, I'm gonna try and share with you some of the hard truths behind being a YouTuber. Now, look, okay, I run a tiny little channel, but by YouTube standards, it's like really tiny. And the chances of ever getting a little silver YouTube plaque is about as likely as me getting onto the next SpaceX flight for free. It's not impossible, but it's highly unlikely. Now, YouTube is, really demanding beast very demanding indeed more demanding than you may actually realize and even more so when the majority of your content deals with a single game a game with a limited number of players to boot now yeah okay not all my content relates to blitz but 99 percent does and as such that offers me a captive audience of around what 75,000 all told what? If I just target the majority of English speakers worldwide. Not many when you come to think about it. Now of course there's a Russian speaking audience, but as I don't speak Russian, well not well enough that is, that audience is kind of out of my reach, which closes off almost four times the amount of viewers, or potential viewers. Now I'm not complaining, don't get me wrong, I mean far far from it actually. When I started my little YouTube channel, I never imagined I would get over a thousand subscribers. Have a little faith, baby. Have a little faith. Let alone 6,000. And it always makes me feel honoured that 6,000 people actually want to listen to what I have to say on certain things. And that for me is a huge, massive privilege indeed. And seriously, I am very humbled by knowing that. Running a small YouTube channel, funnily enough, is relatively easy. But growing such a small channel is about as difficult as trying to claim that The Rise of Skywalker is a fantastically great movie. It's very difficult indeed. Are you serious? Now, in order to grow, you need to churn out content. And it needs to be content that people firstly want to watch. And more importantly, it's different to almost every other YouTuber's. I mean, who wants to see a hundred videos on the latest tank to hit the game? I mean, you see one review, and most likely you've seen them all. And no one wants to watch the same thing repeated in different tones, accents, and mannerisms over and over again. That means you need to try to find something different within the confines of what you believe in, and secondly, within your own subject matter. Now, most YouTubers are driven by views, mainly because it's that that generates revenue for the content creator. Views aren't such a big deal to me, not because my content rarely exceeds 100 views on most videos, but because I don't do YouTube to earn any money. In fact, here is what I actually earn from YouTube. My estimated yearly earnings is $833. Okay, it's a fair few Big Macs over a year, but believe me, my YouTube earnings are closer to the $52 a year rather than the $833. Clearly, I'm not doing it for the cash, because it's certainly no cash cow. Well, not for me anyway. Yes, I do have a few patrons, and I do have a few YouTube members, so that does bump up my YT earnings. Not massively, but substantially enough for me. Combined, these very generous subscribers who, at the bottoms of their hearts, support me financially, increase my YouTube earnings by about $200 a year. A generous sum indeed. And I can never truly express fully my appreciation to these people who offer such financial support, merely from the bottom and goodness of their hearts. What is important to me is actually subscribers rather than views because that's like a sign of appreciation. I like to share a revelation that I've had. A testament that you 
may have reached somebody and maybe just maybe your content has helped educate or help them in some other way and that is the reason that I do YouTube I personally started out on my YouTube journey to do exactly that help people hopefully give them some knowledge along the way and more importantly to try and get people into a happy place Oh, God, it's easy to be negative. Don't hit me with them negative waves so early in the morning. And to do drama. And no doubt if I did drama, that would increase both my views and subs massively. Oh, yeah. But I'm not about that. And nor is my channel. It was never about drama for drama's sake. Yes, okay, I have done videos in response to drama. But I find topics, or at least some topics, are important enough to warrant a response regarding drama of some sort rather than just let it go and allow others to get away with certain things. Shut the fuck up! Okay, it doesn't make me many friends. In fact, it makes me quite a few enemies. But those who remain with me, regardless of whether they agree with me or not, are the ones that I value. I value all of my subscribers. And it's upsetting, at least to me, when I lose a single sub because it makes me wonder what it was that I did wrong that made the person leave. Of course, it's part of the course with YouTube. You gain, you lose. And it's not always due to you. It's not about you. People leave the game, people leave YouTube. There are a hundred different reasons. But as a person who, yeah, I'm a quite a sensitive guy when I want to be, it, 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 it makes you wonder, what did you do wrong? I mean, like all of us, I, I like the warm feeling you get when you're appreciated. Of course. And a little message like the one you're seeing on the screen, these really make my day. And they put huge, massive smiles on my face. Because it proves to me that hopefully, I had made someone's day slightly more enjoyable. And quite possibly, put a smile, however fleeting that smile may be, upon their face. I won't ever stop doing YouTube, but the thought has crossed my mind many times, to be honest. But it is always dismissed, almost instantly, with the knowledge that 6,000 people seem to like what I do. You see, I'm a guy of simple taste. And I will always play the game, so I'll always stream anyway. Because then I get to chat and play with those subscribers who I consider to be friends. At least, I like to think they are. Unfortunately, I don't know each and every one of my subscribers. But I do know quite a few. And that in itself to me is a lovely thing. I have some background knowledge on some of those who sub to me. And it's a beautiful thing, to be honest with you. Because it allows me to at least try to be personable in YouTube chats, etc. And allows me to give a more human contact rather than the usual faceless internet anonymity that most experience. YouTube does have its ups and downs. Downs because you don't grow as fast as others sometimes and as such you feel totally underappreciated and it gets you down and it gets to you along with some of the nasty messages you get. But then the ups totally outweigh this. Believe me, I get many more beautiful messages than nasty ones. Fascinating. Yes, growth may make money for you. But as the Beatles once said, money can't buy you love. So steady growth is nothing to be worried about. And those subs you lose in time will be replaced. If you're deserving, of course. And that's the thing. As a YouTuber, you need to ask yourself some harsh questions and really face some harsh realities like maybe people just don't like you or your content and you need to accept that and deal with it. You may not like the harsh truth but YouTube is all about entertainment. Are you not entertained? And like many of those actors who want to be famous out there discover some have it and some just don't. It's that simple. For my part, I understand full well that my style doesn't appeal to most, but I'll never change. What you see is actually what you get, there's no fakery in me. What you see on YouTube is what I'm like in real life, 
Yes, I'm opinionated, but I'm honest, down to earth, and above all, rather positive. I mean, like, so many positive ways. That won't change, even if I had 600,000 subscribers. Because I'm too old to learn new tricks, and I wouldn't even dream of trying to attempt to change myself. Anyway, I thought I would share that with you, because many out there do put people on pedestals, be them famous actors or more famous YouTubers. And at the end of the day, we're no better or worse than you. We're exactly the same. The only real difference being is that we upload videos and maybe our opinions onto a social media platform for others to watch. It's nothing more than that. I'm also, I personally will never be a famous Blitz YouTuber or anything of the sort. But even if that were to happen, which is highly unlikely. Man's got to know his limitations. Just remember, I'm still no different to every single one of you out there. There is nothing special about me as a person. It's not like I'm a surgeon saving lives or I'm finding a cure for some horrid disease. I'm just a noob who plays a mobile tank game and has a fascination with military history that I wish to share. It's nothing more than that. I'm certainly no better than any of you. And, and this is important, without you, yes, my YouTube channel would still exist. But it'd be a very, very, very empty place indeed. You're goddamn right! Because at the end of the day, the success or lack of my little channel is totally dependent upon you, the subscriber and the viewer. Anyway. I've infused you. I just wanted to share that with you. Uh, by all means, comment and everything below. And guys, remember, until the next time, stay safe out there, have fun on the battlefield, and happy tanking. And I'm no, and, and never forget this. We're not better than you. I'm not better than you. We are equal. Keep that in mind. And with that, have fun and be happy.